Youth runner here with uh, Ella Hagen from Summit. Not only back-to-back -back championships at the 38th Roy Griac Invitational, but the first athlete ever uh, to double up at, uh, at Liberty Bell uh, and, and Roy Griac. Uh, Emily Covert from Minneapolis Washburn was the, uh, the last athlete to double up in 17 and 18. Katie Flood, the all-time great from Dallin Catholic, was the last to do it uh, uh, from an athlete visiting from uh, outside of Minnesota. She belongs among all the, uh, the, the Mount Rushmore of anybody who's raced in Colorado and, and Minnesota. But what does this mean to you just in terms of continuing to kind of you know, put these pieces together, stack you know one encouraging performance on top of another, building momentum uh, from week to week. Because obviously, you know, last year it was just kind of like, oh, let's let's throw this on the schedule and see what happens. This year, obviously, it's much more purposeful, much more intentional, much more planned. Yeah, it's definitely you know super just encouraging and very fun to be able to come out here again. And you know, I I love that course, and it reminds me how much I love this sport. Being able to compete out here, putting back together the performances last year to this year you know having that consistency is definitely a big point of encouragement it's a long journey this sport so being able to to come out here and just be consistent is definitely you know a big part of it so definitely super proud of it and you know it's a stepping stone for the rest of the season and now we get a really strong training block in and then get ready for the rest of the, the end of the season when we really start competing so is, is it really meaningful that, that, like you said, you got two of these at the highest level, you know, get to, uh, get to race against you know, Delaney and all, all the Mountain Vistal uh, women and all, all the Air Academy women there, and then obviously against, you know, uh, Libby and, you know, the Wysada women. We get to throw Cardinal Gibbons in the mix as well, which is obviously a group that you, you're no, no doubt going to see uh, come uh, December. Uh, just to get two of these in a span of seven days, and then, like you said, then go back in the lab. Uh, like, do you feel like you've, you've kind of, have more affirmation, more validation, more assurance than if it was just either Liberty Bell or Roy Griac? Or, 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 I mean, or does it does it matter to you that, you know, like, I mean, again, I know you love to race and you love to compete and obviously opportunities like this are few and far between, but like, I mean, do, but do, do you feel better about the fact that like you're able to travel out, you know, out, outside of your state, you know, uh, come down here to a course you've only been on once before and, 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 and kind of do, you know, uh, the, the same thing? Or would you have felt you're just as confident if it was just about last week? I mean, definitely both bring a lot of confidence. You know, all of the girls both here and at Liberty Bell are so incredible and some of the best competitors out there. And being able to come out and race against both of them just definitely gives me a lot of support and just strength for the rest of the season. And like I said, they're all such incredible competitors. They're both going to really set it up the rest of the the rest of the race is really nice but doing them together definitely you know proves that we're at a really good starting point for right now and then if we keep putting the work in like these are both sides of some of the strongest people in the nation so you know continuing the work and continuing to to keep it going through the rest of the season it's like you know how to race these people and you know this course definitely is I'm not as comfortable on it, so being able to still go out there and compete when I'm not as comfortable or as knowing of the competitors or the course is definitely helpful because, you know, you only get so many races against everybody else, so. Yeah. If we flew you to Woodbridge uh, and you saw the California women, then you'd have everybody checked off by the time you even got to the postseason, but, uh, but that'll be about December 7th. It doesn't need to be about September 20th or 21st. Uh, I asked Libby the same thing because both of you are kind of on even footing in the sense that both of you have been here twice. Like, did you feel like there was a, a greater understanding of, uh, I mean, again, like obviously the weather wasn't the same last year as, as it was today, but you know, just, you know, certain parts of the course where it's like, hey, these are the places where I, you know, that I, I, I really need, you know, to be patient and respect it. And these are the times that I, uh, that I can attack. And I mean, you're one of the most cerebral, you know, in, in, intelligent, purposeful racers that I know anyways, but did you feel like there was a better understanding of, of what was in front of you uh, today than last year? Yeah, definitely. I think, you know, last year was just about racing and just really staying in the pack and then seeing how I felt and judging it based off of that. But this year I had that experience and I knew like where I would feel strong and maybe where I would just need to dig in and focus a little bit. And obviously having raced Libby here last year, I also knew kind of the places where I needed to push. So going into it, I was definitely a little bit of a different race plan. Like I was laying out like this is exactly where you're going to 
try and just make it hurt both for yourself and for Libby and everybody else and then you just have to let it roll through there so definitely a little bit of a race plan different race plan but again it was just all about competing and seeing where the race took me so well uh, even if I don't see these uh, amazing sunglasses and the war paint uh, and the smile until November 2nd uh, it's all good because uh, there's a, a lot in the bank to be encouraged about and to be proud of uh, for Summit Star Ella Hagen again the only athlete female or male ever to win Liberty Bell uh, and Roy Griak in, in the same year and in the company of uh, Emily Covert and Katie Flood uh, on this course uh, at Les Polstad means you're doing something uh, at the highest level. Ella, congratulations. Well deserved. Thank you.